The topic, Larry Fitzgerald. The question, is he washed up or still being very effective? Let's just get into it. So is Larry Fitzgerald still productive? Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, of course he is. Like, he's obviously is still productive. Just looking at his numbers, you can tell that he is still productive. But I actually think there's some interesting things in his numbers. So I'm going to talk about that just for a bit uh, to talk about his numbers and how they are in relation to uh, him as a player now. So Fitzgerald actually has never been a huge yards per reception guy. He's always been a guy who gets a ton of receptions. Uh, you know, he has uh, five seasons where he's had at least 100 receptions, and he's had a handful where he came close as well. Uh, so he's obviously a big reception guy. In fact, the only person who has more receptions is Jerry Rice. And even Jerry Rice actually isn't that much ahead of Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald has a chance to pass him. He's only, uh, looks like about 170 receptions behind him. But what I find interesting is that, you know, over the course of his career, he pretty much would always get around uh, 13 to 14 yards per catch. However, in the past four seasons, the highest yards per catch he's had was 10.7. While he's always had that possession receiver part of his game, it seems like that's really kind of what he's turned into late into his career, is he's just a possession guy. And he's, you know what, he's a really good one. And I think that having DeAndre Hopkins, of course, should help him a lot. So yeah, like on this play, uh, he's running around over the middle. It's going to be man coverage. Uh, it's a cover one play with a play... A, linebacker covering the middle of the field as well so to be getting part of this route probably won't get open but later on it could definitely potentially get open so he's going to run this route by making a very quick fake to the outside cuts over the middle gains a little bit of separation nothing crazy but he gets a little bit and Fitzgerald does something that I love uh, to see here and I also do I do think that uh, you know if you're a young receiver you want to watch Fitzgerald play because he is you know he does all the techniques completely right he knows how to do this he's been in the league for a while uh, but what I love about this is that when you're running about like this you don't have to try to stay as far deep as possible to try to gain as many yards as possible don't be afraid to come back a little bit don't be afraid to make things easier on your quarterback and you probably will get open the closer you get to the middle of the field Obviously, you know, you want to stay deep if possible to gain more yards, but Fitzgerald runs pretty far to the inside, but then when he makes the catch, he's able to turn around and still gain those yards that he would have gotten had he stayed deep. Uh, so it makes sense, you know, come closer to guarantee you can make the catch, and he's good enough in space where he can still run forward. Uh, I think that's just a smart play, a very good play from Fitzgerald. Again, that's a lot of what he does. Is he's a fantastic route runner, and he still has the physical capabilities to do it. And I do think that his his route running is really important to mention because of the fact that uh, if he can continue to be as good of a route runner as he is, which there's no reason to think he wouldn't, now, you know, his physical abilities don't matter quite as much. Well, he is 36 years old, so, you, you know, it's, it's reasonable to suspect that he could have a down season uh, just because of his age. He doesn't have to be Tyreek Hill out there. As long as he's a good uh, route runner who can just be effective enough and fast enough, he'll still find ways to, you know, be successful. But I also should be clear, it's not like that's the only way he's getting yards. Like on this play, uh, it's going to be a cover one play once again, so it's man coverage. That's the concept that Arizona is running on the top of the screen. Fitzgerald is the one who is uh, closer to the middle of the field. He's you know farther away from the sideline. Uh, he's the one who's going to be running a route that's going to go up towards the sideline. Uh, and what I like about this is that uh, he doesn't get too much separation right away. And it was actually a pretty decently uh, ran route, uh, just good defense on this one. And the reason why I like that is because it's going to show off how he can make these catches. And he still is able to make highlight real level catches uh, even at, you know, 35 at the time. Watch how he is able to leap up and make that one-handed grab and it's getting bounds. You know, I find it interesting because when we talk about defensive backs, one of the biggest things we talk about is ball skills. But when we talk about receivers, we don't talk about that as much. You know, catch radius is a thing, but it's not really talked about as much as maybe it should be because... Uh, you know, Fitzgerald shows why right there. He might not have gotten a ton of separation, but he can still find a way to make a play. I also like this play where, again, they can use him as every aspect of the, the possession receiver. Where on, on this one, it's cover two zone, but what Arizona is doing is they're running, it's kind of like a wide receiver screen. Uh, he'll Fitzgerald will run a little bit further deep, but, you know, two receivers on top of the screen, they're going out the block. Fitzgerald makes the grab and just runs, pick up, tries to pick up as many yards as possible. Pretty simple. And once this play starts, you know, Murray is able to hit Fitzgerald, but 
if you notice, I mean, this play was a little bit slow to develop. Uh, there's not a ton of room for him to run. He can try and run and gain a couple yards, you know, run forward, but it's probably not going to go for that much. However, he's fast enough and more and difficult enough to bring down that he's still able to get about eight yards on this play. So again, nothing spectacular, nothing mind-blowing, but again, that's what you want a possession receiver to do is on those types of plays, give you a couple more yards, give you three or four more yards than the play was designed for, and that's what he is able to do. So again, do I think he's going to be the Fitzgerald of old? Uh, no, but is he, can he, you know, he already has turned himself into a possession receiver later in his career. I don't see any reason why he won't be able to do it again. Uh, this is one more example where it's a cover three zone and Fitzgerald is running a route that's going to get into this gap in coverage. So this should be good. Unless, of course, uh, San Francisco is able to figure out where he's running and clog up that gap in coverage. And that's exactly what they're going to do. I mean, as you see, Fitzgerald runs a little bit deeper, but, you know, a linebacker stays deep so he can clog up that lane. Uh, there's also a defensive back who's covering Fitzgerald. So, you know, some problems here. They've taken away that route pretty well. However, the problem is that Fitzgerald is a veteran and he notices all of this as well. So while he's getting covered up, he says, okay, fine. And he just runs back further down where he's able to get open and make the grab. Uh, this could have been designed. I also think it could have been, uh, I think well, my guess is that this is an option route. Again, it's impossible to know unless one of them comes out and says it because we're not there. We don't hear to play. I think this is an option route. So I think Fitzgerald had this option and he chose that option because it was the correct option to choose. Uh, and again, that's kind of the thing where he's just a veteran receiver who is kind of relying on, you know, his old tricks and what he can do and how he can outsmart guys to some degree. But he's able to pull that off, and he still is quick enough, and he still is strong enough that he's still able to play in the NFL. Uh, obviously, the concern is that, listen, when you get up there, sometimes the fall from grace isn't so graceful. Sometimes, it, you know, you, you just jump, do dive off a cliff. Sometimes there is sort of a gradual decline, uh, but we'll just have to sort of see. So there always is that, like, X factor of he could just not be good next year, but he was good last year. So, uh, you know, he, he has turned himself into a different player, but he is a good player as that guy. I do think that, you know, he sees some of those statistics and he wants to see if he can, you know, take a crack at some of them, see if he can, you know, maybe break the receptions record. I could see him trying to do that. Uh, we'll see. Maybe he just likes playing football and doesn't want to quit. Uh, but either way, he's done a tremendous job, obviously, of, of being able to continue to play year after year. He's obviously a first ballot Hall of Famer and super fun to watch. And uh, hopefully uh, he can be with Arizona while they can accomplish something great. But in the meantime, I think that he, at very least, is a, still a very solid receiver for them. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.